Hey, hey, it's Joel, and this is solid stainless steel. And if it looks familiar, it's because it's an open RCF1 axle sized for that car right there. This is thanks to our friends at Siemens, and well, we got to visit them. So I'm going to show you how we made this and how strong it is right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Hey, it's Joel, and as you can tell, I'm nowhere near my home in Seattle. I'm in Gerlitz, Germany, and I'm here at Siemens, where they're 3D printing metal. And then they're comparing that 3D printed metal against non-3D printed metal to see if the material properties are anywhere close, because if they are, that is, that is a big, bright additive manufacturing future ahead of us. We're gonna take you through the process of how they're doing it right now. Detlef. Hey, John. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Well, thanks for inviting me out to Siemens. This is fantastic. Sure. Welcome to our industrial steam turbines facility uh, in Görlitz. Industrial steam turbines. That is, yes. that, is, that is a big term right there. What exactly is an industrial steam turbine? That is very cool stuff. <laughs> we, uh, we produce industrial steam turbines from a few hundreds of kilowatts of output power up to 250 megawatts. 250 megawatts is enough to power a city of uh, 300,000 uh, inhabitants. 300,000? Yes, with you, one steam from turbine. one steam turbine. Correct. Wow, but I guess not all steam turbines are large like that. No, you have a big variety of industrial steam turbines. Like I said, it's from very small output powers to, uh, to the 250 megawatts. And they have really, they, they come from very, they start from very tiny uh, sizes to the big ones you see here in the assembly factory, in assembly hall. I have to ask, what's next then? What else, what else can we learn about these steam ah, turbines? Okay, you're, you're asking uh, because uh, we're looking at the future as well for industrial steam turbines. Absolutely. Um, and I think there is, um, um, it's not a coincidence that you're here because <laughs> we're talking about additive manufacturing uh, and I will be able to show you uh, to our additive manufacturing facility. We have a, a new machine here on site, and I, th I think this will be very interesting to you. We're talking at 3D printing is actually sure. contributing to Siemens steam turbines. It will be, yes. Lead the way. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, uh, Joel, uh, I recognize in your last video uh, the bump of the RC car. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And you broke both of the front axles, right? That, yes, we ran into the Tesla, we broke both axles. Ah, okay. I think my colleagues will be able to support you with two new metal axles. Metal axles? I'm very sure they will not break. I, that sounds great. Yes, and I'm going to hand you over to my colleagues now. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, thank really you, Tyler. pleasure, and see you again. See you again. Hey, Hi. I'm Joel. I'm René. Oh, great to meet you. What's yeah. your job here at Siemens? I'm responsible for new technology and also for 3D printing. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. 3D printing, I know yeah. a little bit about that. And new okay. technology. So we're yeah. in front of this giant machine. Is this new? Is this new? Yes, it's a wire arc uh, machine. Wire arc? What wire does that arc, mean? Yes. Okay, we put it on a wire machine for, for melting down the, the iron. So we have uh, very fast, big parts. We can. Uh, do here on this machine. Oh, the machine is melting the iron yes. along a path. Yes, from, and it can from, go from a wire and it goes down. Yeah. Oh, this that's is really three cool. Three X machine, and we have big parts on it. How big can it go? Oh, it's up to uh, 800, uh, 800 and 900 millimeters. That's huge. Yeah, that's very huge. And with it being a wire that it's melting, then it can do that pretty quick. Yes, it's very quick. So maybe it's possible up to three or four kilos per hour. <laughs> so slowly. So then for the part that I need printed, that okay. axle, it's going to take no time at all. Yes, of course. Should you try it? Is that, are we ready to do that? Yes, we are ready to do What's it. What's the next step? I have to take the button. So, as you can see here. So yes. this is going right this now. This is going even now. And we might, the wire on the plate. See it? Yeah, <laughs> the magic has happened. We're here at the machine. It looks like it's done. Yes, we are finished. Can so we get it out? Note? Yes. Yes. Oh, look at that. It. Wow, that looks really cool. Yeah. So this is the axle. This, 
This, this is, is it. it. Yes. <laughs> Very fast. Super fast, right? Yeah. And wow, and this is, it's just, it was a few hours, yeah. and it's just wire feed, yeah, it goes around, and it makes it. Yeah. Well, I know that this is the, the rough shape, right? It it's has to be shape. milled down. Yeah. But before the milling, we have to heat treat it. Yeah, we have to bake it. Oh, can we go do that? Yeah, let's go. So Renee, this, we're out of the oven now. Everything's yeah. cured, baked, cooled down. Yeah, everything fine. Now it's being milled. Yes, because you want the finished part, not the big part. So everything is finished on this machine here. The first part is finished. Oh, look at that. Put it on. So then this this is going to reduce that that larger part yes. to the specifications yes, of that the CAD model had, yeah. right? And his job, it's computer controlled. It's computer controlled, yes. But his job is to control the speed and just listen yes. and make sure. And measuring and everything's fine, okay. Oh, I see, Next look steps. at that. Yeah. So then this process, how long does this take? Does it depend on the size of the model? It's, it depends on the size, yes, and the, highest, yes, and okay. the material. So I think for your part, maybe it's up to two hours now. Oh, really? Yes. But still, with a wire feed, 3D printing the part, and then milling it, yes. we're still less time. Yes, we're still. Than, a, than like a powder bed, right? Yes, of course. Well, okay. I don't want to be in the way of him too much longer. I want to let him get his work done. Okay. Where do we need to go next? Uh, maybe we can go to the testing of new pumps. I like the idea. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, go. All right, we're outside. Arnie, what are we doing out here? Uh, first and foremost, I would like to present your front axle. Look That's that. the part. <gasps> it's so we've heavy. We produced together. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is 100% stainless steel. Yes, it is. Oh, and it's so shiny. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's really heavy. Well, I mean, I have my plastic axle, ah, yeah. and I mean, just it weighs a lot more, obviously, because it's 100% metal, but it's it's perfect. Look at that. Yeah. It is perfect. And we hope that it's much stronger than the old one. Look at that. Oh, I I mean, I would assume it's much stronger, but is there is there a way that we can test how much stronger yeah, it sure. is? Yeah, uh, sure. As you have already seen, we use heavy loads uh, to test our samples, to test our materials, and usually we use standardized conditions. Uh, but uh, sometimes uh, we need uh, to change the conditions a bit. And so I have, a, uh, let's call it uh, an unusual test for you. Look at that. That's a forklifter with a bearing pedestal, uh, which we use uh, for our turbines. And it has a weight of uh, approximately 1.5 tons. 1.5 tons. 1.5 tons. tons. That's our testing load we <laughs> will use to check both of these front axles. I mean, I, I have a feeling this one may survive. Uh, this one is not long for this world. This. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are the next steps? I, let's test this in this non-conventional way. Yeah, um, maybe we can start with a 3D printed part. We just put it on oh, the- 3D printed uh, metal part. Yeah, metal part. Uh, we put it on the ground and then uh, Rico will put the spearing pedestal on the top of this front axle and uh, now let's check out what happens. Okay. Do you think this is okay? That looks pretty good to me. Okay, Look at that. It, it's holding it. The entire, the entire one and a half tons. It's holding it. Yeah. Yeah, it's still in order. It's not destroyed. Wow. <laughs> no problem. No problem no whatsoever. Problem. Definitely no problem. And uh, now we uh, can lift it up and substitute the part, the new one with the old one, if you want to. Let's lift it up and let's let's see if this plastic piece can actually hold it. Okay, Rico, please lift it up. Wow, it it just held it. Yeah, it's a bit dirty, but nothing wow. changed, actually. It's a factory. Everything's dirty in the factory. <laughs> hey, Arnie, if we're going to be testing the plastic piece, just for the sake of safety, can you go grab a hard hat, too? Oh, yeah, sure. You're right. Safety first. Safety first. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye. I'll miss you. I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> that was amazing. It started to give a little bit and then it just it just went. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Can we can we lift it up and take a look? Yeah, we should. Yeah. Wow. It just crushed it. Completely destroyed, yeah. Completely destroyed. You know what's interesting? 
uh, it looks like it, it, it crushed it and it fell over and then it just crushed it some more. Yeah. And it's not like, I mean, obviously it's not, I'm not putting a one and a half tons of force on it, but it's, it's not like it's weak plastic, but it's, it's plastic and it, wow. And it met its doom in a most incredible way. <laughs> that was cool. I that. agree. I'm glad that this won't happen with the new part. Yeah, the new part. This new part in my car should hold strong and should let it uh, go a little bit faster. Let's hope. Yeah. You know, Arnie, this is cool because uh, it, it was sad when the car ran into the back of the Tesla and it snapped yeah. the axles. And I mean, I, I was sad. It's, it's good to know that uh, the metal piece is going to make it more resilient. Definitely. I do happen to have in my back pocket the other axle and smashing this is kind of fun. Should we do it again? Yeah, let's have some fun. Put it there. Okay. Or may we remove this? <laughs> it's probably a good idea. Okay. <laughs> same test, same result. Wow, it just it just it just it tipped over and then it was crushed. Just no, it's flat as a pancake. <laughs> yeah. I thought for a second, uh, just a brief moment, I thought it was gonna hold it. Yeah, me too, me I too. I thought, I was like, <laughs> what's going on? It was amazing, yeah. And then, and then, disaster, yes. failure. Right. Oh, that was a lot of fun. That was really cool. Arnie, this was exciting because, well, I mean, at the beginning, we, we were able to print it with the, the wire we were able to mill it down into this. Yep. We had to heat it first and treat it to, to relieve the stresses on the piece. Yep. And then we just verified that it's strong enough to hold a ton and a half being set on it. Yeah, we did. I don't, I don't think there is anything else that we can do to prove that this piece is awesome. Oh, and it looks so good too. It looks so good. And it's yours. Oh, thank you. Well, I mean, you crushed both my axles. We might have to make another. <laughs> yeah, sure, we should. I would. I will put this on my RC car, and uh, I'll make it go fast, and I'll make sure. I don't know. I'll write Arnie on the inside just oh. to make sure that you know it's yours. Oh, what a what an honor! <laughs> I hope so. Well, this was a lot of fun, and it was exciting to learn about all of this really cool 3D printing technology that's really going to power us into the future. And a big thanks for Siemens for having us out. Big thanks for Arnie. Thank you. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more because I love you all. And as always, I- Whoa, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. This is exciting because, oh my gosh, this is solid stainless steel. And, and ugh, I got two of them, two of them, which means that that car right there is gonna have two solid metal axles up front and those aren't gonna break, which means that this car can be upgraded. And if the axles are now solid metal, what would you upgrade on the car next? What should we put on this thing to make it as cool as possible? I can't wait to hear what you say. Just leave it down in the comments down below. And obviously if you made it this far, you are awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, because I love you guys. As always, high five. <laughs> Yeah.